participants will listen to a conversation. Much. Hello to all of you. In Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, thank you. And you, Miss? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking, William. How was the weekend? Okay. Yeah, busy. <laughs> was busy. Okay. Did you have to work? Yes. Oh, you did? Yes, I have. Okay. So you work on Saturday or the whole weekend? Saturday and Sunday. Oh, both days. Okay, that's yes. exciting. Right. Yes, in my business. Oh, you have your own business. Okay, that's good. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. And tell me about the platform. William, have you been working on it? Yes, I finished. Oh, you're done. Okay. Yes. Great. Congratulations. Thanks. So how was the work over there? Was it easy? Oh, it's, it's, comp it's complicated and oh. more practice for lesson. Okay. You need to continue practicing then. Yeah. All right. Yes. That's good. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening. How are you? Uh, and you? I'm okay, thanks. How was your weekend? Okay. Uh, uh, a little quiet and... Only, only that. Only that. Okay. Did you stay home? Yeah. Yes, I stay home All with right. my family. Okay, that's good. And did you finish the work in the platform, Stephanie? Uh, not yet, because I stayed in the section number five, and. I don't, I have a problem with two final exams. Oh, really? Which ones? Yeah. You could check them if you'd like to. Los últimos dos de la sección de los, de los exámenes de la sección cinco. Let me see, in the final exam. Over here in exercise D and E, or which ones, Stephanie? Yes, yes. Okay, so maybe we could check. Let's see. So here you have to regret and scramble the sentences. You have to put the words in the right order. Yeah. And for example, number one, what do you think that the answer is? Everybody can participate. Uh, Christy is... Christy is... Is really... Really gorgeous and and I not remember in hair ladies goes like this. And what is, is really gorgeous and in hair thirties and sus treinta ah sus treinta okay. All right, the next one we got wear mustache hat Sam in the 
glasses end. Any ideas about that? Does Sam? Does Sam? Does Sam? Does Sam have yeah. have a weird have a weird glasses and mustache? Okay, in that case, you say that Sam have a mustache and wear glasses. We got two different verbs, wear glasses and have a mustache. Ah, okay. Right, and number three, how would it be? Cindy, Cindy has, Cindy has long, well, the long hair. Yes. And middle height. No, no, on height, medium. Okay. And medium. It's Cindy has red long hair and medium, medium height. And is medium height. And is a medium height. Okay. okay. And here um, we have to make a question using who's. Any ideas about that yeah. one? Who's Jason? Who's Jason? Sitting, sitting on the couch. On the coach to the next person. Okay, so in that case, we say who's Jason sitting on the coach next to? Or who's sitting next to Jason? No, let's see. This one is kind of weird. Who's Jason sitting next to on the coach, I guess? Oh. Yeah, this one's kind of confusing. And here we say yeah. long red hair. Okay, let's check it. Oh, it's marked and incorrect. Why? Let's check. Maybe because of the punctuation, because it's yeah the same thing. Chris is really gorgeous and in her 30s. Eso fue lo que escribimos, pero, ah, ok. Según la plataforma no tiene punto, la primera. Es la misma respuesta, pero no le han puesto el punto. De hecho, voy uh -huh. a reportar eso mañana. Um, let me see. In the third one, a ver, la tercera, si le has long word here. En is medium height, lo mismo, no tienen punto. Fíjese que ese sí sería un error de, de la plataforma meramente. Y wow. esta, oh, who's the person sitting coach next to Jason? That's how it would be. Who's the person sitting on the coach next to Jason? And that okay. will be it. Mm -hmm. Ok, igual para los compañeros que no han llegado a este punto, recordemos que según la plataforma no le han puesto los puntos al final. Ah, es porque acá los tenemos, miren. Entonces si le ponemos punto ya no nos toma la respuesta como correcta, hay que tener cuidado con ese detalle. Ok, okay. ¿es that all, Stephanie? ¿Tenía alguna otra consulta? La, el último, el reading. The reading, ok. Let's check. Here it says read Sarah's email, then check for things she can do in her neighborhood. Luego escogemos cuatro yeah. cosas que puede hacer en su en su comunidad, en su neighborhood. So it's sí, a, según yo, para mí la respuesta es eh, ir a comer. Mm -hmm. Este, ir eh, a bailar, go dancing, send okay. emails. Go and, dancing, send emails. And read books. And read books. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, so that would be only go dancing, go shopping, send emails, and wash and dry clothes. Stephanie? Uh, yeah. Go dancing, go shopping, send emails, and wash and dry clothes. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other questions? No, nothing. So, sure. Nada más está todo. Okay. Thank you. Sure. All right. Yes, tell me, Mauricio. Hi. Yeah, I have a problem in, in, in 4.13. No sé si me puede ayudar por lo menos resolver una para, para tomar la idea. Claro, 4.13 me dice. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it says regret the sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions. And follow the example, Mary is the beautiful girl. She is standing by the door. Mary is the beautiful girl standing by the door, okay? And here we have um, another one that we have to make. It says Clark is the tall guy. He is wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Entonces, de las dos oraciones debemos hacer una sola. Acá tenemos eh, dos, información, dos tipos de información distintas, ¿verdad? Clark is the tall guy. Y luego, he's wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Y tenemos que unirlas, como lo decía, ¿verdad? No sé si alguno ya realizó el ejercicio o alguien que se anime a, a darme la respuesta. ¿verdad? Yo en base al ejemplo que aparece, lo que mm -hmm. es Clark, she is the tall guy yes. wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Mm -hmm. That should be the, the answer. Ajá, no pero se la aceptó. La, no me la acepta, ni con punto, ni sin punto. Um, ok, let me try. Okay, let me submit it. Si la acepta, Mauricio. Si se la tomó, ¿verdad? Pero... Sí, eh, a lo mejor algún espacio se le debe haber ido por ahí. Clark is the tall guy. Clark is a tall wearing... guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Punto, al final. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, porque esa, esa respuesta de que yo yo, no, no sé por qué no me la, no me la acepta. No se la aceptó de nuevo. No le puedo compartir mi pantalla. Quizás yeah. él, él, él le pone his y ya his ya no le tiene que poner. Maybe. No, yo no le pongo his. De Wii me pasa wearing. Mm -hmm. The guy is wearing. Ah, no, no, no. Yes, yes. Okay. No, no. Igual se había puesto mal una, una T, pero igual no. It doesn't accept it. Yo creo que no puede compartir la pantalla por los permisos. No sé si. Bueno, pero si no, ahí, ahí por privado le, le, le escribo mejor. Sure, sure. Sí, claro, ahí déjeme. Or, oh, okay. maybe now you can do it. Let's see. I think now you can share your, your screen. Si gusta, on, Ahí está. No sé si la mira. Yeah, so it doesn't claro. take it. No ha dejado un espacio antes de la respuesta. Ajá, yo uh -huh. veo clave y espacio. Procuro dejar un espacio uh -huh. cada clave. Sí, sí, Two. sí. sí. Okay. Wearing to put on down. Ah, okay. Ese yes. tú no debe ir. Wearing a bottom, it says. Ah, entonces a bottom. Uh -huh. 
Otvorite sa barom. Šiek, Santago, Pans. Vemos boja vrti. Ok. Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Ah, era. Eso era. Ah, pues sí. Sí, ah, pues sí. Ok. Alright. Ok, ahora no sé para la hora de compartir. Ya. Ok. Do we have any other questions? No. Ok, so good evening to all the people who have joined us. And let me see, let me just get my presentation so we can start with our class. Welcome everybody. We are going to start today by practicing a conversation. So let me go back to the platform actually. Over here. So let me just play the video. We are going to watch it and we're going to listen to a conversation. Then we're going to have some time to practice it. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, so I want you to check the conversation and tell me if you have any questions or doubts about it. Any questions? Yeah. What is the meaning? Fuck. What is it, frankly? Uh, a lot of I am uh, I am fuck. A lot of um can you tell me what line it is in? A lot of in fact. In fact. Mucha fabrica, creo. Ah oh, no. Oh sí. Oh. De hecho, oh, in fact. There. A lot, in fact, uh -huh. in fact, de hecho, por cierto, there's an excellent Korean uh, place. Uh -huh. Yeah, pero acá serían dos frases distintas. El a lot es la respuesta a esta pregunta. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot, muchos. A lot. In fact, in realidad, there's an excellent Korean place. Hay un, un eh, restaurante coreano just around the corner in the esquina. Okay, any other questions? No question. No. Okay, so now it's time to practice the conversation. So let me ask Alejandra and uh, let me see. In Daniel Ocampo, can you read the conversation please? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, Daniel, you start. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much nice? Oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, 
It's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I call you back later. Okay, thank you for reading. Let me ask um, Karina and uh, Hector. Can you help me to read the conversation a second time? Okay. Hector, you start. Like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an um, excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the strip. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that my car alarm is called you back later. Okay, thanks for reading. So I need you to repeat, please. Crime. 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 Parking garages. Crime. Parking garages. Parking garages. Parking garages. Repeat, teacher, please. Sure. Uh, parking. Parking garages. Garages. Parking garages. Parking garages. Because we got the plural garages. 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 Okay, and also remember that this one is I'll, I'll, I'll call you. I'll, I'll, I'll call you back later. I'll call you later. Very good. Now let me ask a third part to read. That would be Jimena Ayala and William Figueroa, please. William and Jimena, can you read, please? I am Pam. Yes. Okay. William, are you there? Mama, papa. Okay, maybe Sergio, can you help me to read, please? Sergio Zou? Yes. Okay. Uh, your how do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call you back later. Okay, thanks for reading. Now everybody repeat, please. Apartment. 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 Downtown. Downtown. Convenient. 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 Noise. 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 Much noise. Much noise. Nice. Nice. Fifth. 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 Restaurant. Korean. 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 Around the corner. Around the corner. Around the corner. Parking. 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 Parking garages. Crime. 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 
safe okay so now let me move uh, to this video we are going to watch it just to remember about the quantifiers that we studied last class so which ones do you remember what were the quantifiers that we studied last class we had many much any others okay. which one a few a few. a few. What else? Many. Many. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Many. let's watch the video in order to remember about those. So please pay attention. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay, so here, as you see, we can use these quantifiers. We got some for the count nouns and some others that we can use with non count nouns. We got a lot, which can be used with both count and non count nouns. For example, when we say a lot of cars, or we say a lot of noise. We got a few and a little. A few is for count nouns. For example, a few houses, a little crime. We also have many and much, many, um, let's say many stores, and much money, for instance. We also have any, which is the one that we use for the negative and the questions, like any cell phones or any, let's say any friends, for instance. Then we also get none, which is to indicate that we had nothing, right? Okay, so um, I want you to go to the breakout rooms right now. We are going to, ha to have a couple of minutes to talk about the place where we live. So I want you to ask questions using how much and how many or using any of these quantifiers. And you, you're going to ask about the place where your classmates live. For example, as we saw in the conversation, uh, over here, how many restaurants are there near your place? Or is there much noise? Is there much crime? So you have to make questions that are similar to these ones. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. It's so, clear. Very good. Thanks, Stephanie. Okay. So let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. There you go. Remember, you have to ask and answer questions.
account nouns and not the account nouns. Uh, but, uh, okay. The new, no, era many, much, el uso many. de eso en oraciones. You are going to many questions and also answer using the quantifiers. For example, as we saw in the conversation, questions like how many restaurants are there? A lot. And then you add some more information. Or is there much crime? And you say, well, there's a little, for instance. That's what you have to do. OK. But uh, uh, you will send the picture by the, oh, sure. by the WhatsApp? Or? Sure, let me send it. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Con nouns quantifiers. A lot of, a few, many, any, no. For example, uh, uh, there is a, a many people. No, is there a many people of this meeting? You say, are there many people in this meeting? Okay. Are there many people of this meeting? It seems that's no. <laughs> oh yeah, Franklin and Ana Maria, are you there? <laughs> okay, yeah. So oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I had I had problem with my internet. Oh, you're having trouble. Okay. Lo siento, yo también aquí, pero no de internet, sino de niños. Lo siento. Okay, don't worry. Eh, Repeat, please. Uh, are there many? Are there many people? Oh, is that correct? Uh, uh, on this meeting. Yep. You say in this meeting. In this meeting. We are four person at this meeting. Yes, exactly. So I don't know, maybe Franklin and, and Ana Maria are having trouble. So um, yeah, I don't know what we can do. Está realizando una pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. Estoy equivocada o está preguntando eh, las personas que están en la reunión. No creo que ando right. perdida. No, that's right, you're good. But uh, I, I had a question. Uh, yeah. uh, count nouns is a thing that you can count, right? Exactly. But uh, non count nouns is thing that you you can you can count. Yes. But uh, what is the difference to use a lot in count and use a lot in now? Oh, there's no difference. It just means ah, okay. the same. 
in those cases, ah, okay. it just means the same. Okay. Where are many people? Yeah, uh, but, uh, in the yeah. meeting? Yeah, but uh, yes, we are we are four person. On, yeah. on, this, on this meeting. Exactly. Okay. Do you have any other questions? I'm leaving. Okay. Yeah. All right. See you later. Thank. You. How many stadium there are in your city? In my city, have only one stadium. Okay. Is it's a little crime or a little or uh, many crime in your city? You say much crime. Ah, okay, much crime. There, there are. There is. There are little, little crime, little crime in my city. Okay, just remember that crime is non-count. Therefore, we need to say there is a little crime. Ah, there is. The, a there crime. is a little crime. Okay. Sí, porque elige es para elige siempre para los incontables, um, verdad, teacher? Exactly. That's right. Okay. Um, how, ¿Cómo se how dice many... en cancha de fútbol, teacher? Soccer field. Soccer field. Ah, ah. Okay. Eso quería preguntar yo. How many <laughs> soccer field, soccer field, there are in your neighborhood? Lo dije bien, teacher. You say how many soccer fields are there in your neighborhood? Ah, perdón, siempre va, eh, cuando es pregunta, se, se pone el, el B antes que el ter, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ah, ok. How, how many, eh, ¿cómo soccer era cancha de? Soccer ah, field. How, how many soccer fields are there in your neighborhood? There are... There are a few soccer fields in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. Okay. Hello, Verde. Que dio ahí. Okay. Hi there. Do you have any questions? Hi, teacher. Y nos nos explicaba Karina ahí. Uh -huh. que, este que las palabras que o los quantifiers que estamos viendo sirven más que todo para respuesta que, yep. que para pregunta por lo general se usa el many o el much exactly that's right sí así sería okay. gracias Karina okay. eh, eh, how many rooms are in your house Um, it's correct, teacher. Yes, you say how many rooms are there in your house? Uh, are there? Are there? I have a few rooms in my house. No entendí. <laughs> Repeat. I have a few rooms in my house. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You have a, a big house. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the pets. We manage to have it over here. There are three pit bulls. Oh, okay. Three girls. 
there are uh, violence on the land? No, no, no. 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 Pero sí cuidan bastante. Pero no, digamos, de, no es que sean violentos. Hacen bulla nada más. Sí. <ríe> y dan miedo por el aspecto, pero no. Creo que son, bueno, son bien cariñosas. Son bien lindas. Son bien lindas. Ok. I have to heal my dog in the last year. Your dog died. Yes, I Okay, so now let's continue. Oh, well, before we continue, do we have any questions, any doubts? Yes, I have a question. Come on. Eh, y para decir que, o sea, si me preguntan cuánto, digamos, how many hospitals are, are there in your neighborhood? Y para decir que no hay ninguno, es non, ¿verdad? There is none. Mm -hmm. There is none. none. Yes. Or you could also ah. say there isn't any hospital in my neighborhood. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. So now let's move to our next lesson objective. In this session, participants will learn vocabulary for describing people. So now we're going to learn how to describe um, the physical appearance of people. We're going to learn about the different vocabulary we have for talking about the kinds of hair and uh, well, the kinds of, uh, well, the hair colors, the age, the looks. So I need you to please pay attention to the vocabulary and then we're going to practice it. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair. Curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Hi, welcome to section following pictures and repeat the adjectives. Of okay, so as you hear, you see here, we have the different kinds of hair. First, we got the length, long or short. We also got the different kinds like straight, curly. Right. Also, if, you have, if you have no hair, you say you're bald. And we Ooh. also have the words mustache and beard for men, right? And also another important thing to keep in mind is that first of all, you say the kind of hair or the length of the hair, then you say the color, like long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, and so on, right? Now I need you to repeat after me. Long brown hair. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair. Short, short blonde, blonde hair. hair. Straight black hair. Straight Straight blonde black hair. hair. Curly red hair. 
hair. Bold. 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 A mustache. A, a mustache. A mustache. In beard. Okay, so we got here long brown hair, cabello café, largo. Short largo. blonde hair, what would it be? Eh, cabello corto cabello rubio. Cabello corto. Okay, then we got straight black hair, that is? Es mediano. Pa. Lacio. Yeah, lacio, liso, straight. And black is the color, right? Cabello negro y liso. The next one is curly red hair. What is it? Cabello rizado, rizado. Rizado, el uh -huh. We have bold. Calvo. Calvo. <laughs> yeah, right, calvo. Calvo. Then we also have mustache, that is? Bigote. Bigote. Bigote y barba. Barba. Okay, then we got the vocabulary for talking about age. We got young. 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 Middle age. Middle age. Middle age. Elderly. 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 Okay, so young, we could consider like people from age zero oh. to, yeah, exactly, to maybe 30 something or something like that. Then middle age would be probably from 35 Maduro. or 40 to <clears throat> around 60. Mm -hmm. And then after 60, you're an elder, right? Yeah, no. Elderly. Yep. Okay, then we have the looks. We got, repeat please, handsome. 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 Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Pretty. 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 Okay, so you know that handsome, guapo, guapo. Handsome. good looking would be like. Um, buena say? apariencia. Yeah, buena apariencia, bien handsome. parecido. And then we have pretty. Bonita. Bonita. Bonita, right? So mostly we use handsome for men and then pretty for women. The next thing we have is the height. Repeat, please. Short. 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 Fairly short. Fairly short. 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 Medium height. Medium, Medium height. height. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Okay, so we got short, which is? Pequeño. Pequeño, bajo. Then we got fairly short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about that one? Fairly short. Yeah. Like un poco pequeño, right? Medio pequeño. Bajo. Medio bajo, exactly. Next one says medium height. Pero mediana. Mediana estatura. Uh, yeah. And then we got pretty tall. Bastante alto. Exactly, in very tall. Muy alto. Muy alto. Muy alto. Two exactly. meters. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> NBA players. Uh, NBA. Okay. So let's practice <laughs> pronunciation <laughs> once again. Please repeat. Long brown hair. 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 Short blonde hair. Short, short, short blonde hair. hair. Short blonde hair. hair. Straight black hair. Straight black, black, black hair. Straight black hair. Curly red 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 hair. Bold. 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 A mustache and beard. A mustache and beard. And beard. Young. 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 Middle age. Middle age. Middle age. Middle age. 
Elderly. 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 Handsome. 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 Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Pretty. 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 Short. Short. Fairly short. Fairly short. Fairly short. Medium height. Medium height. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Okay, yes, this one is pretty, pretty tall. Repeat, please. Pretty, pretty, pretty tall. tall. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Okay, also say hair. 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 Age. Reach. Age. 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 Looks. 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 Height. 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 Now I want everybody to make a short description of Himself, himself or herself. So you choose what kind of hair you have, what's your age, your look, and your height. Just make a little description. Remember that we use the verbs have and the verb be in order to describe ourselves. So first of all, choose your kind of hair. You got a couple of seconds in order to make your description, then we're going to share it. So now we are going to share our description. First of all, tell me about your hair, Ana Maria. What's your hair like? Perdón? What's your hair like? Como es su cabello? Uh, long brown hair. You have long brown hair, okay. Is it straight or curly? A stretch. It's straight. Okay. Thanks, Ana Maria. Edwin, tell me about your hair. Uh, my hair is curly black. Okay, it's curly and black. Very good. Do you yes. have a mustache? Yes. You do. Do you have a beard as well? Yes. yes All I right. Do. Okay, good. Stephanie, tell me about your hair. Okay, my hair is long brown hair and straight. Okay, it's straight. Very good. Yes. Mauricio, what's your hair like? And my hair is curly black hair. Okay, you got curly black hair. And do you have a mustache? Not. Do you have a beard? Not only, only beard. Oh, you got a beard. Okay. Right now, right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Karina Gomez, what's your hair like? My hair is long brown hair. Okay, you got long brown hair. Is it straight or curly? Straight. It's straight. Okay, nice. Daniel Ocampo, tell me about your hair. My hair is curly black hair. 
Okay, you got curly black hair. Do you have a mustache or beard? No, I don't have any. Any. Okay. Andrea Araceli, what's your hair like? My hair is short. Okay. Straight and black. Okay, your hair is short, straight and black. Very good. Alejandra, tell me about your hair. I have a long brown hair. Long brown hair. Is it straight or curly? It's a straight. It's straight. Okay. Hector, what's your hair like? Hector Rico? Yes. Uh, this is a short gray hair. Okay. You got short gray hair. Do you have a mustache or a beard? No. You don't. Okay. No. Luciano, tell me about your hair. Uh, my hair is short. Uh, my black color. Okay. It's black. Do you have a mustache or beard? Uh, no much. No beard. Uh, I have a barbilla chin. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks, Luciano. Sergio, what can you tell me about your hair? Okay. I have a short, straight, black hair. Short, straight, black hair. Okay. Very well. Do you have a beard? Uh, no, I, I shave. Okay. Karen Briseida, what's your hair like? Karen Briseida, are you there? My hair is a uh, straight black hair. Okay. Is it long or short? Karen? Okay, so that will be all for today's class. Remember that this week we are working on section number four. So please try to continue working in the platform and to finish as soon as you can. That will be all. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have Take night. care. Good teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night, group. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Take care. Good night.